Hey math lovers, here's a tricky geometry problem that has left even some adults scratching their heads. Ready? We're given a right triangle with a height of 18 units and a base of 30 units. Now inside this triangle, a square is neatly placed so that one side lies along the height, another along the base, and its top corner touches the hypotenuse, just like this. Your mission, find the area of that square. Sounds simple? Think again. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to try it on your own first. All right, let us solve this together. Let's say the side length of the square is x. That means from the top of the triangle, down vertical segment measures 18 minus x. And this horizontal segment measures 30 minus x. Now, here's the part most people miss. We'll look at the two triangles that are formed beside the square. Let's highlight them in green for clarity. Both of these are right angled, and they share a common angle with the big triangle, which makes them similar. So we write the proportion like this. 18 minus x divided by x is equal to x divided by 30 minus x. Now we will do cross multiplication. That just means we multiply across the equal sign diagonally. This gives us x times x is equal to 18 minus x times 30 minus x. Now let's expand the right-hand side using distributive property. We get x squared is equal to 18 times 30 minus 18 times x minus 30 times x plus x squared. Now subtract x squared from both sides, and that simplifies to 48x is equal to 18 times 30. Now solve this simple equation. 48x is equal to 540. Then divide both sides by 48. So finally, value of x equals 11.25. So we found that the side of the square is 11.25 units long. And finally, since the area of a square is just the square of its side, we do 11.25 times 11.25 equals 126.56. That means the area of the square is 126.56 square units. And that is our final answer. But wait, can you find the area of the same square in terms of x and y? Think and answer me in comments below. If you enjoyed this brain teaser and you learned something new, share this with a friend who loves math. And don't forget to subscribe to MathSpire for more math puzzles that'll challenge your mind. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, stay curious and keep solving.